In this video, I will show you how to safely downgrade your Mac operating system from macOS Sequoia to your previous version of macOS without any data loss. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends, macOS Sequoia is the next major release of macOS and it's packed with new features that will make your Mac more powerful, more productive and more fun to use. But if for any reason you think this system is not right for you, you have the option to revert back. You can revert back from macOS Sequoia to macOS Sonoma or Ventura by following three easy steps. Before we start, make sure to backup all new files and photos you have added since upgrading. The reason for making a backup is that during the downgrade process, you will completely wipe your hard drive. So, if there is anything you don't want to lose, make sure you have a copy of it. For a seamless downgrade process, it's a good idea to first turn out Find My Mac and sign out of your Apple ID account after you have successfully backed up your data and logged out of your Apple ID. The next step would be to download the macOS Sonoma installer. For that, open your web browser and go to Apple support website. Here, click on the macOS Sonoma download link and you will be redirected to the App Store. From there, just click on get to download macOS Sonoma installer. After the download has been completed, Go to the next step. In step number 2, we will prepare our USB drive to make it bootable. To do this, plug in your USB drive to your Mac. Make sure you have a USB drive with at least 16 GB of storage space. If you have any important data on your USB drive, make sure to back it up before you start because this process will erase your USB drive. Now open your Dis Utility app. This utility app is located in the utilities folder of your application folder. Anyway, when it opens, go to the view menu and select show all devices. Now in the left sidebar, select the top level of your USB drive and click on the erase button. In the name field, type a name for the USB drive. In the format drop down menu, select macOS extended journal. And in the scheme drop down menu, select quit partition map. Everything is ok. Now hit the erase button. After erasing, click the done button and close the dis utility app. Now open the terminal app. Terminal app is also located in the utilities folder of your application folder. Friends, creating a bootable USB drive in the terminal is an administrator level task. That's why first we type sudo, give a space and then we need to type the path of the installation media file. The easy way to do this is to go to your application folder, right click on the macOS Sonoma installer and choose show package contents. Now open the contents and then resources folder. Here you will find a file called create install media. Now drag this file into your terminal window. Next type dash dash volume, give a space and drag your USB drive into the terminal window. This section will add the USB name and path in the terminal. Everything is ok. Now hit the enter key. Type your login password and hit the enter key again. Type Y to confirm and hit the enter key. And that's all. The terminal window will start creating the bootable USB drive. This process will take some time depending on your hardware configuration. Once the process is complete, you will receive a message like this. Install media is now available. Now we have a macOS Sonoma bootable USB drive and we can use it to install macOS Sonoma on any macOS Sonoma compatible Mac. Simply restart your Mac, hold down the power button on Apple Silicon Mac and option button on Intel Mac. Now 
Now select the USB drive from boot picker screen and hit the enter key. The USB installer will start to load. Make sure you are connected to the internet during this process. Now select this utility and click on continue. In this utility, select your hard drive which typically appear as Macintosh HD. Then click on erase button. Make sure APFS is selected here. Everything is ok. Let's erase the hard drive. After erasing the hard drive, close the Digitality app. Now select Install macOS Sonoma and click on the Continue button. Next, follow the on-screen instructions. Friends, during this process, your computer may restart several times, which is normal. So please don't worry, the entire process is automatic and require no action on your side. So please sit back and relax. This process can take 30 to 40 minutes. So be patient. When the process is finished, you will receive a fresh copy of macOS Sonoma. Now you can configure it to your needs. So friends, this is how you can downgrade from macOS Sikova to macOS Sonoma. If this video helps you, please hit the like button and consider to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.